Yo, what's going on, everybody? TK Gaming, and welcome back to a one on one versus Shaquille O'Neal and JaVel McGee. So, if you've been keeping up with the NBA, there's been a lot of Twitter beef between JaVel McGee as well as Shaquille O'Neal because JaVel thinks that he should no longer be on Shaq in a full, and then Shaq feels otherwise that he should be on there. And uh, so we're going to solve all the beef here and see who would win on a one-on-one. -on -one. As you guys see, Shaq's backing down JaVel in the post. Something he's going to be very good at in this one as he gets an early 2 nothing lead. But obviously Shaquille O'Neal is a better post down player when I feel like I can use JaVel McGee speed and athleticism to get to the rim and score the ball. As you guys saw right there, nice little speed boost. And he goes to the rim and uh, is only down by one point. As right here, Shaquille O'Neal misses the ball, misses the shot right there, and JaVel gets the rebound. But like I said, getting back to the beef, Shaq feels like he needs to play well in order not to be on Shaq and a fool. But JaVel feels like he's just been picking on him for the last couple of years. Is right there up and under. JaVel McGee misses the shot, gets the rebound, and misses the dunk. So not much I can do and help JaVel McGee if he's just going to miss wide open dunks. His rudder Shaq's backing down JaVel in the post. Nothing easier than that as JaVel is going to let him score. And now Shaq has a 2-0 lead already as JaVel is trying to get inside. It's so hard to get around Shaq. He's just so big, physical. As right now we're putting on some spin moves. Obviously JaVel has kind of got a, a jump shot as you see right there. Just jumps in a shack and gets the ball luckily to go in the rim. But I feel like KD's got involved in the Twitter argument. Um, many other players have gotten involved. Steve Curry giving his thoughts about Shaq and a fool. And JaVel McGee as right there. He misses a wide open dunk to tie up the game. Um, but it's been kind of interesting. Shaq been going back and forth between uh, saying that once JaVel starts playing a lot better, then he'll stop putting him on Shaq and a fool. But like I said, it got very personal on Twitter and uh, inside the NBA as right now, JaVel McGee and Shaq are going at it. One more point ties up JaVel McGee as it's so hard to get around Shaq as he's witnessing trying to go inside. Just cannot get any get any angle to get inside. He's just too tough and a defender as he tries to move right there. And that one does not go as Shaq gets the ball back. It'd be pretty cool to see Shaq shoot a three and possibly win the game on a three-pointer. Um, as right now, Shaq's pulling away, missing. Oh, makes the shot right there. But one way JaVel can, can stop Shaq is just let him shoot the mid-range because obviously he doesn't have a shot at all. And JaVel kind of got a jump shot, as I said, as right now he loses the ball, loses his dribble, has to shoot the ball. All contested and misses that one as Shaq's got the ball. We are pulling up to seven points, so a shot right here for Shaq could really seal the game. As right now he's going down the post, going up and misses the shot. Javel with the rebound, trying to get back in this game with a huge bucket. As he's gonna put on some moves as obviously Javel is a lot more quicker than Shaq, so we're gonna be trying to utilize that. As he's gonna go in between the legs, go inside and score the basket. As Javel wants to beat this one for not only himself but the rest of the NBA. That. JaVel was saying how he's on a winning team now. He's been playing a lot better, which he has as right there. JaVel McGee blocks Shaquille O'Neal as Shaq gets blocked by McGee. And now he's... JaVel's got some... He's got some strength down, though. As he's going inside another block. JaVel McGee wide open. Gets the dunk and ties up the game. So now we're sitting 4-4. Four, four, four. Next basket takes the lead as Shaq going inside. JaVel playing it safe. Not, pull, not going up inside of him because he can't shoot. But right there, Shaq gets the basket. Two more points for Shaq. Wins the game. But JaVel is not going to go down easy as he's trying to get by the big man. Shaquille O'Neal's not giving up a bit. But look at JaVel McGee as he's getting the mid-range shot. Tying it up 5-5. Five, five. Um, as right now, Shaq obviously cannot shoot. Going inside, spin move, going in and missing the shot. As Javel has the chance to get the first lead of this one on one. As he's taking it back, trying to put on some moves, trying to dribble around Shaq as he does and dunks the ball. So right now, Shaq's in a difficult situation as he needs a basket to tie it up. And if he misses, Javel can win this game. As right now, he's backing him down in the post. Javel's just gonna let that happen. He can't shoot. And now, Javel. Bell has one opportunity to win this game. Clearing the ball, trying to get back Shaq. Spin move, 
trying to do anything he possibly can to show Shaq that he's gotten a lot better through the years. As right there, Shaq makes him pick up his dribble. It's going to be tough contested shot. And he just misses a little bit short. And now Shaq can tie the game up. Shaq's feeling confident as ever. Backing down JaVale. Mid-range, no good. A tough shot. JaVale makes him pick up a tough shot and JaVel McGee wins the one-on-one -on -one against Shaq. Tell me in the comment section what you guys think about this one-on-one -on -one. and also thank you guys for watching. It's been your boy Tiki Gamer Tommy and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.